customizing it with a few different methods. What I'm going to speak about mostly and focus most of the time in this particular video is going to be about customizing your power rack and in particular with the use of powder coating certain components including customizing with colored barbells, colored weight plates, what have you. There are many ways to go about customizing your space including artwork. All of the various methods I'm going to speak about contribute to making the space your own, making it custom to fit you, to motivate you, to make you feel good and psyched when you get into that gym. So the first way to go about customizing your home gym is to go with a colorway or a color scheme, but most manufacturers don't actually sell a lot of the attachments in the specific colors that you might want. So here's a wide shot of the rack. So you can see the matte black standard uprights along with all of the red components. And I'll get some close-up shots as well. But before we get into that, let's backtrack a little bit and start with the many different ways to customize your home gym space. Some people are fortunate enough to have a blank slate to start with, whether they're kicking the cars out of the garage or the basement that they can designate just for the home gym. That's great because then you can start with the concept you have in mind. You can go with the paint scheme for the walls and everything else that can make your space truly customized to your own tastes. If you don't have that luxury and already using a space that was already in play but you're repurposing it, not a problem. There's still many options to choose from to really customize the space and your rack. Now, since we're really focusing on color here, one of the reasons why we choose a particular colorway, well, for some, it might be favorite sports team. For others, it might be pride in their college alma mater. For me, it happened to be my motorcycle, which is an Indian Chieftain. I got in the same black and red because I love the contrast. Now, if you really want a custom rack, but the manufacturer doesn't have all the components or attachments available in those colors, you can still get around that by painting those attachments however you choose. Now, there are a few methods to painting. There's this typical wet paint. I happen to choose powder coating because it's a more durable option. One that's used for patio furniture and even car components. It stands up to weather, it stands up to the abuses that you would face in a home gym when it comes to banging around barbells and plates and so on. Wet paint is a little bit easier to chip off and I think that that was something that deterred me from even going that option. But it might be an option for certain attachments that are seldom used or they might be out of the way and they don't get a lot of wear and tear through daily use. Now, some of you may not know the difference between wet paint and powder coating, and I'll try to explain it simply. Wet paint comes on as a wet liquid that is sprayed from a gun of some sort. Powder coating is paint in the form of a powder that's electrostatically applied to metal surfaces. The electrostatic component really provides a good adherence of that paint to the component, making it more durable. And then it's taken into an oven at about 400 degrees or so and baked for about 20 minutes so that paint can really adhere to the surface. The only components on this rack that are stock red from rep are the cross members and everything else that's red on this rack was powder coated. Now as you can see here this is one of the standard J cups that I have powder coated. You're probably wondering how have these powder coated parts held up so far and I'm happy to say they've held up extremely well as expected because powder coating is very durable. Now even though the stock cross members from rep are powder coated one of mine arrived with a chip that I'll probably show on camera. And that's to say that powder coating isn't indestructible. Starting from the bottom, I have the front feet that are attached for stability of the rack, along with the spotter arm just above them. The cross members you see between the uprights, top and bottom, those are stock red from rep. As I said, the color is not identical, it's not a perfect match, but for me that's fine. The next component I have powder coated in red is the rear stabilizer bar you see there that attaches to the lat little row. Then I had the leg roller attachment done. I had, of course, the strap safety hardware done in red. Then I had the sandwich J-cup logo plates done. I had the round sandwich J-cups done completely, as well as the standard J-cups done in red. I also had the laser cut rep logo plate that goes on the rear cross member done in red. So here is the flat sandwich J-cup that I said I did not powder coat. Typically I powder coat the whole J-cup but because Rep has these pretty cool laser cut logo pieces on there, I decided to take those off and just have those powder coated to create that nice contrast I like between the black and the red. So I just wanted to show a few examples of some gyms that I think were well put together like this awesome gym from Adam at Garage Gym Lab. He goes with a beautiful color scheme of white, blue, and neon green. And my friend Brandon from Basement Brandon has this awesome monochromatic stormtrooper kind of look with all the white and black, which is just really a clean, symmetrical look you can't go wrong with that 
and another example is Danny Tran from Infamous Strength. He uses a similar color scheme to what I have with the black and red, but his gym is well put together. He has a beautiful custom logos all over, including on his mats. And I wanted to show my friend Raheem's gym from Radio 1399 as a good example of what manufacturers should be doing because he went with a new rack from Griffin. And this comes stock with the red sandwich J cups, the red logo nameplate, the red strap safety hardware, and more manufacturers really need to start offering options like this. When completing your gym look, remember most everything is available in a variety of colors. Get what works with your theme. I went with the rubber coated weight plates from Rep that have the red logo and weights, which fit my theme perfectly. The used adjustable dumbbells from Bowflex happen to fit in with that aesthetic as did the smaller dumbbells from Gold's Gym. Another great option for customizing your look is with barbells and thankfully, a number of manufacturers offer them in a variety of colors. I went with a red and black Cerakote deadlift bar from Rogue, which I think is just beautiful, and a black Olympic bar from Xmark. Other accessory items like battle ropes can be had in a variety of colors to match your theme as well. Even your training gear, things like wrist wraps, knee sleeves, and weight belts can also be obtained in colors or customized to your own liking. And let's not forget wall coverings. Banners, artwork, and flags are available in colors to fit your theme. This motivational art piece with Bruce Lee was originally advertised in black and yellow, but upon digging deeper, I found it also came in my preferred black and red. Even the metal art piece of this beautiful American Eagle flag was available in different colors. Finally, you could also incorporate color changing LED lighting into your gym as I did here, and you can adjust the colors on the fly, even to suit or change the mood you're in during that particular workout. All of these additional accessory items can be incorporated into your home gym to fit the theme of your choice. And it truly makes a difference in the overall look and feel. If you have additional thoughts or ideas, please feel free to drop them in the comments below. And as always, I appreciate your time and I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care.